Hello, welcome to the Light Channel. We are back to the series that we just started last week, which is on life life balance. Yes, life life balance. You probably are more familiar with the phrase work life balance. I'm saying the same thing, but there's a reason why I am using the phrase life life balance. And I gave some insight into that in last week's video. Please check it out if you missed it. And then without any further ado, let's get quickly into some details of what this life life balance is what is all about. So, life life balance or work-life balance, if that is what you prefer. What exactly is it all about? It is this concept that brings to the attention of the individual the need to find that equilibrium between the different elements of that single life. And that is why I prefer to call it life-life balance, because all you have is just one life. And... Um, in, at play in this concept of life-life balance is a fundamental principle. And that is the principle of time limitation. Can you imagine if it was possible for you to just extend time? And instead of having a 24-hour day, you can have 48, you can have 96, you can have 120 or whatever number of hours you want. Maybe then the concept of life-life balance will not even have a reason. But because whatever you want to do, you are constrained by that 24 hours. As a human being, the need to now juggle all these balls in space and ensure that none of them falls to the ground and ensure that you still find the joy and the fulfillment that you are looking for as a human being is the reason why this concept of life balance has come to play. And there are a few things you need to be aware of. There are certain factors that underpin this concept of life-life balance. The very, very first one is the, is the, is the issue of self-concept. You realize that work is more than just a means to make money. Work has some therapeutic value. Man was made to be productive. And therefore, you find out that even the richest in our world still work. Because there is something about work that goes beyond just, I am earning a salary, I'm making a profit. There is also a lot to this self-concept identity when you now realize that as human beings, our identity are very largely tied to the work we do or what we are known for. I remember when I left my job in one of the biggest telecoms company in this country for a smaller company but a higher role. For like the first three months, every time anybody asked me where I worked and I told them the name, I have to go all over again and explain what we do there, what we do and what I do and why did I leave. Because having spent so many years with that first company and being one of the pioneer staff, there was an identity, there was a part of my identity that was tied to that company. And it was then that it struck me why some people find it very, very difficult to leave certain organizations. As a matter of fact, back then, I called it brand arrest. And it's the same thing. As an, as an entrepreneur, our identity is tied to the kind of social status we are able to achieve, which has a lot to do with how well we are doing our work, how well we are doing in the society. And therefore, this self-concept and the need to maintain it puts a lot of pressure on us that many times kills our balance and our equilibrium in a manner that it hurts us in very fundamental ways. I will come down to this in a few videos down the line. The second concept that underpins this issue of life-life balance is the concept of competition. As human beings, naturally, we are very competitive. So I want to drive a better car, I want to live in a better house, I want to have a better title, I want to travel a better class when I'm flying, I want to own a jet, I want my name to be headlined. This competition 
chases us and we go after it with everything that we've gotten. And in pursuit of this competition, which in the long run has very, very little value, we sometimes get into this disequilibrium. A very, very closely associated variable also is this chase of perfection. Oh, the children got to be right. Uh, my house has to be sparkling clean. There must not be any gap in my workplace. I must be seen to be on top of everything at all times. And therefore, we forget the fact that we are, we are constrained by time. We are limited by time. There is only so much that can be done within the available spaces. So, when you mix all these underlying factors together, you then understand why life, life balance is something you have to be aware of. You must know what is at play in your own life and you must know how exactly you are going to mix them to ensure that you achieve the biggest level of success for the long run. And I emphasize that the emphasis is on the long run. So, having established the factors underpinning this concept of life-life balance, the next question is to then clearly and quickly identify what are the different parts of our lives that we need to kind of pay attention to. This list is not exhaustive. It's just to show you that there are different elements. They are distinct. They are unique. Your job is to see how you find a balance between all of them. The very first one, of course, is your work or your career, whatever you choose to do. The next one has to do with your love life. If you are single, if you are married, another one has to do with family, either your own nuclear family or the family from which you've come or the children that you have or your hobbies, your interests. And the list goes on and on and on. The point is that there are different factors, there are different variables at play in your life. How do you find the equilibrium, an optimal equilibrium that will give you a big deal of satisfaction? That having been said, the next question then is this. Why? What are those factors that you need to be aware of because in being aware of them, you are in a good position to then move the needle one way or the other such that you find that balance. This will be the first thing we will start with next week when we continue this conversation. I hope you are beginning to get a feel of where we are going and you are excited to travel with us on this journey. Tell others who need to know. Make sure you also don't miss it. And like I said, if there's something you'd like to see us cover here, please write in or get in touch with us through any of our different channels and we will sure to take care of your concerns or your requirements as we go along in this series. So, make sure you keep it a date with us next week. Until next week, don't ever forget that this is Delight Channel and Timak is my name and all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. I hope to see you next week. Bye.